I'm Dr. Ellie Forsef. And I'm Dr. Crystal Wiggins. Fancy <laughs> seeing you here. Uh, so this is the irrigator machine, and we wanted to talk about this today because we love it so much, and we wanted everybody to know because we just have so much, it's brought so much joy, into, a machine yes. has brought joy into our lives. Can yes. you believe it? Yes. Would you agree? I was afraid of it at first. I know. I remember yeah, your yeah. face. Yeah. This was your face. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you do when you're like, I don't know about it. And you don't even hide it. It's so funny. You're like, I was like, <laughs> this I'm is what it. we're going to use now. You're like, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's a necessity to be able to remove wax as an audiologist because mm -hmm. people come to us and yet we weren't doing it as like, I wasn't wanting to do it um, very much. And I know I've talked about this before, but it's like, I would just be like, go to the ENT, the ear, nose and throat doctor. Cause I, I don't want to deal with it. Cause if somebody's on blood thinners and I'm pulling stuff out of their ear and they start bleeding or it might take an hour, nobody got time for that. Yeah, yeah. And so this little creation has allowed it to come out so quickly. Yes. And obviously we make great videos on TikTok now because of it. So we get like footage while we're doing something that it's fun. Um, but it, the best thing is this, it's temperature regulated and oh, yeah. it doesn't cause uh, dizziness. dizziness for the patient. I love it. I've grown to love it. Irrigator is yeah, my friend. It is. It's, and we have two of them now. Yes. <laughs> they are That's a game changer. Total game changer. So if you're watching this and you're a provider of anything, you're general practitioner, you're an ENT, any kind of doctor that possibly could do wax removal, just just throw away your curettes. Yeah. No, just get... Just push them to the side. Yeah. yeah, push them to the side. <laughs> don't, maybe don't throw them away <laughs> to the side. <laughs> but this is amazing. It's like the best thing ever. Um, yeah. And it, I just, I think it's a game changer for sure. People coming from like, what? Like everywhere. Hundreds of miles away asking specifically for this machine. To me, that's insane. Yeah. Like to say, I want to get the irrigator and like say, like somebody from Jacksonville, Florida emailed us a couple of weeks ago. We have what somebody from Chicago. We've had Sacramento, California, Virginia, Alabama, a ton of uh, Mississippi's in. and yeah. Louisiana's and Dallas's. Um, so, and I we did put a little button on our website on memorialhearing.com. There's a big giant red button that says uh, something like for irrigator locations. Click here, and it takes you to their site because. As much as we want to see everybody, yeah, we don't, we don't want somebody to have to drive like eight yeah. or ten or twelve. Not unless hours. you just want to make the drive. Yeah, I mean, if you want to meet us, hey, hey, we're here. Usually. I just hope you have wax <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you do come. If you don't have wax, we'll do a hearing test. <laughs> yeah, it's next best thing. You can see what your exactly. hearing is like. But yeah, it's it's just crazy, and and the the videos that we're making are fun. Like the latest video That's we just fun. did, the um, Grow 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 video. Do we have that? <laughs> I love it. He's our VIP patient. <laughs> Look at that wax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I put thousands of years worth of buildup, and somebody did correct me. And that was a true fan right there. He's only 50. He was only 50 years we old. Knew, we knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah. That's why I told him. I was like, it's 50 years. And he's like, let's see if the true fan That's how we know out. Alexis is paying attention. <laughs> Alexis L.A. Fountain O. <laughs> yeah, I was the one that made a comment. Yeah, <laughs> my arrow's on it right now. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That was a good video. And then, so I guess, and I always say, and so, <laughs> you, you, your industry and what you guys do is ears and hearing, and something that affects your hearing is anything blocking your hearing. And earwax serves a purpose for your body, I guess, to do what, and then. To, I guess, to discuss when people come in and think that they have hearing problems, have you ever run into a situation where they're like, I just don't hear well, and then all of a sudden, through use of the irrigator, they can actually hear better? Oh, like all well, day. Well, yeah, every day. Every we day. love, I love to hear it. Immediately. Yeah, I love to hear it. So a patient comes in, they say, you know, I really am just not hearing good. Um, take them to the irrigator room or, you know, our sound cafe, irrigate them. And when they Don't, say, I can hear. Wouldn't you say the very first TikTok that we did that went ah, viral? Yes. The girl came in for a hearing loss. She thought she had hearing loss. Yeah. And she just was like, I can't hear. Yeah. And we looked in. She looked. Tons Dr. Wiggins wax. looked in her ears and she had a ton of wax. She agreed to being filmed. And I mean, that TikTok is about, about 20 million views at this point. Mm -hmm. And it was such an eye opener even for us. There it is. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's enough to block it, I'm telling you. Oh, I mean. But I love it when the patients say, you know. Yeah, I can, ooh, I can hear it. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds so good. And so before the irrigator, what, did, what were the methods of earwax removal? And then uh, after you guys get done with saying what is the best and why is it the best? The best? Oh. <laughs> um, I use curettes all the time, alligator forceps. Curettes are these like scoopy little scoopies. Things. Yeah. So it looks like a little plastic spoon, but tiny for the ear. And you, and you stick a light and it, it is bright. So it's easy to start scooping it out. Yeah. Um, but it's like, just imagine an ear full of wax. Like, yeah. I mean, scooping and scooping and pulling scooping. and scooping. Yeah. Um, it just, and I'm trying to roll like, it into a ball and yeah, get it to grab it properly. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Um, I was doing like all I of said, that. if they have like, a, what do you call it? Um, if they're on blood thinners and, and you scrape a little bit of their ear canal, they might start bleeding. Um, so that's, it's just like, that's so actually, that was, that's actually happened. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So. And then alligator forceps are good. We still use those. Yes. Like if the irrigator gets most of it out, but there's a little flap, we just go in there and it looks like a little alligator mouth and it just grab, we grab it and pull it out. But I'm not going to sit and do <laughs> an entire ear cleaning with it. Right. And then other than that, suction and suction takes forever too. And we still use suction yeah. um, for um, ears that have surgery, surgery, surgery surgical perforations, ears, yeah. things like that. Um, but shoot, this is, and the reason we didn't have irrigation in this office prior to the actual irrigator machine is because most machines have, uh, don't have warm water. Right. They're just normal temperature or cool, mm -hmm. and that elicits vertigo. And the patient. And trust get, me, you don't want that. Yeah, they'll get dizzy and usually throw up on you. Blah. So we don't want to deal with that. So this machine comes in, rolls in. It's bright. Has this bright light. Has this like magnification glass. Wow, that was mm -hmm. a car accident that just happened. Um, and I like it for the magnification. Yeah, it's it, bright. It right. magnifies. It's warm water. It shoots it through, and it just dumps it out. Yeah. And you're just, like, beautiful. It's yeah. Beautiful. Watch the videos. <laughs> yeah, watch the videos. <laughs> it's fun to do. It's fun to watch them, too. Even though I've removed the wax, saw it come out, I was always go to Dr. Alien and be like, let me see the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is a game changer. That's why oh, I yeah. the word game changer with this machine. Because, like, I didn't want to deal with it before. Right. Don't you agree? Isn't that right. sad? That, like, and, and I'm not alone in thinking and I that worked neither with, are you. No, no. And I worked with tons of ENTs. Yeah. And I got frustrated with the ENTs maybe taking too long with the patient. Mm -hmm. Or they having to go through their process for removing the earwax and coming back to me so I said let me just do it on my own and the scraping and the pulling and yeah. all of that stuff that was pretty extensive this thing here has just cut my game time changer. down yes yeah, game changer, <laughs> game changer. It, it cut my time down like Don't 50 60 percent love it too, a little too much yeah the patients there <laughs> like their eyes roll in the back of, yeah <laughs> I love seeing that though because like you love it they, like literally call it it's ear like spa. an ear spa. <laughs> yeah. Ear spa. I have, and I have used that term too. I was like, well, I'm just going to give you the spa treatment. Really Make sure we get it nice and clear. But um, it is fun to use. I would recommend to any audiologist and like Honestly, Dr. Ellison, any, any professional. I need other people to know about this too. Like if you know an ENT out there or you know a general practitioner, mm -hmm. um, who else would probably benefit? Like people need to know this is such a great thing. Like, yeah. Go, go be free It's not just taking people. up space here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, it's really, really fantastic. And from a standpoint of anybody that has the quite a few people that they deal with that may have it, any kind of healthcare care uh, practitioner mm -hmm, mm -hmm. would benefit from, hey, because it's, it's part of your general all around health. Right. So if you go to a, yes. a general practitioner. Yeah, because what uh, they usually have is like this little squirt bottle that just squeezes and it falls into a little basin and it's like, right. And it might be OK in a pediatric setting. Um, but like an adult with like hard set wax, it's not really helpful if you're if somebody's going to you as a provider in the office. I mean, I. And then I've used this on Petey's here. Yeah, too. I mean, we've, we've done as young as what four years old. It's whatever yeah. they can tolerate. Any ear can take it. And you know, you just tell them it's a water gun. Yeah, they love the water I'm gun. Like, as, as, like when they call <laughs> and the the front office is like, "Hey, can we can we book a five year old?" I'm like. Technically, yes, as long as a five year old's not gonna freak out when we're coming right, at them with right. a water gun. Right. But right. they love it. It's it's so cute. We should have some of those fun. videos too. So not only are you able to help your patients by re help removing earwax more effectively than in the past, but also from a business standpoint, you're minimizing the amount of time that you mm -hmm. spend in that process yes. to get you back to where you need to be, which is focusing on their overall mm -hmm. function. Hearing health, yeah. yeah. It's it's like a 
what is it, one-stop shop, where before I would be recommending, like if they were occluded, I would say you need to go to your ENT and then wonder if they were gonna come back to us, right, to be honest, right. because an ENT has an audiologist on staff, so they would sometimes, if you will, steal our patients. So here I am. I'm guilty of that. Oh, you know, I am. Well, I mean, not yeah, so much as sense. not not on purpose, yeah. but yeah. you're already indirectly. Here. They're already indirectly. There. Let's yeah. talk about hearing Let's aids talk next. About it. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I ain't so, mad at you. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, past you, you're past me, the past me. Yes. But it's a two way street. Basically, <laughs> what you're saying. Well, I mean, I'm sure someone they're has in our my office, so we should be able to take care of them. And if we exactly. release them. You know, to another office for wax removal. I guess that's the that's the chance you take. I'm wondering if they're going to come back or just do the rest of their hearing I, healthcare at that office. It makes sense. I mean, it, my view is that the irrigator is going to be a gold standard for yeah. wax removal. I don't even I mean, know what's better. Fans. There's nothing. I don't, if there yeah. was something better, I would have had it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I love about her. For an indu- <laughs> on, on an industrial Any level, there, there's nothing. There's no comparison. It's, no. There's, it's always there, the best. One. When you're dealing with you three patients a day, Dr. Wiggins three patients a day, your office is seeing potentially six patients a day total. I mean, just for earwax removal, you mean? Yeah, on a mass yeah. scale. Oh, no, there's times where we've done like probably eight wax removals a day each. Um, yeah. So you're just doing <laughs> wax removal now? No. No, no, no is, you're, so you're referencing just wax removal. You wait. wouldn't do anything past the wax removal with the patient. They come in specifically just for oh, the wax removal. There's plenty of people who come, like, we're, like, we have our days scheduled, like, sometimes, like, a, you know, hour and a half block for a new patient to talk about hearing aids, hearing loss, tinnitus, yeah. and then uh, that patient happens to have wax, so we add oh, the yeah. wax removal to it. Just, just um, And there's some, some people that are just coming, like, back, bam, back, bam, back, bam, back, bam, back. wax removal, wax removal, wax removal. And wax. tell them what happens. So when we both have a patient that needs the irrigator, oh, mm-hmm. the the mighty mighty irrigator. Mm-hmm. Um, we actually have another irrigator that I can actually yes, two machines that we can put into two rooms. Yeah, the other day you were in the main room, so yeah. I was like, oh, it's time to bust out the second one because I had yeah. one at the same time. So I filmed, I filmed, actually, I pulled wax and filmed in here. Actually, which you, is kind of a nice you change. did that for a patient's girlfriend, right? Because you had that patient yeah. and then the girlfriend. My dream is that we get patients at the same time who want to be filmed at the same time, which who would know be each awesome. other, who we can do the wax at the same time. Boom boom. <laughs> And that's my, everybody's that's my earwax <laughs> filming dream. It'll be a double ear tundra. No, I'm literally like, I tell the girls up front, if there's a family, because sometimes people come like three at a time. They all want it. The problem is we're just not available at the same time. But right, if that ever happens, right. like, I, I told her we're, we're going to like walk in with a gun together at the same time. Like, <laughs> so, Crystal, how long? a lot of fun. Crystal, how long have you been at Memorial Hearing? How long have you been at Memorial Hearing? All right. Six I think months. six months. How, yes. ma- how many? How many <laughs> irrigator services have you performed? Six hundred. Six hundred. I love that number. I'm gonna go with that round number. I don't know. <laughs> well, you, if you average it up real quick, and so your five day work, work week, mm-hmm. you would do on average probably like two a day, ten a week. On average, maybe. Yeah. Ten, I mean, ten a week yeah, times six times six months. Run those numbers out real quick. Ten. You're a valedictorian. Repite, You're a valedictorian. Go. No, repeat it otra vez. How many? Six. Ten, Forty ten, times six. Ten a week. Two times four. Two hundred forty. Four weeks in a month. Two hundred forty. So six hundred, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've done more than two hundred forty. No, no, no. Yeah, because there's so. some days that you've done like, Ooh. like. But we, five or we've kind of got to the I mean, point. Been, uh, we've kind of got one, to the two, point three, in Memorial four, Hearing five, where the irrigators become so popular. That we're looking into taking that role off of the doctors and putting that role onto somebody who would be like a oh, hygienist. I love it, too. Nah, we're not giving it away. I love it. Well, if, if, because you two guys are the faces, right? We, if it was People something that was serious, guys, kind of funny. like if the chicken bone was found, and of course you would, ha- you would have to come in and perform the pressure test first before... Yeah. Right. The hygienist or whoever would come. So you guys hygienist. would be involved. Well, I mean, what would you call it? An ear hygienist? Or I don't know. You call, you call it like I a, haven't thought that far. A junior audiologist? Audiologist. Yeah, like there's a nurse, pra- there's a nurse practitioner who, and then there's nurses, yeah. and then there's physician's assistants. But so in y'all's there's industry, audiology assistants, assistants, but in Texas, the rules to become an audiology assistant are way more stringent than yeah, any other state. And true. they have to have at least a bachelor degree, which is a lot. Can for it be in business? Them, it, you could be in anything, it I'm could. pretty sure. So I could come in and I could apply? They, you could apply. You want to be our I would love to. Really? Yeah, what does it pay? Okay, so let He's me like, just tell you. I'm in. Segway, what does it pay? <laughs> well, 
It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because of the height thing. <laughs> I can't buy heels like tall this. enough. To, yeah. <laughs> we'll get we'll get those chairs that you pull the lever. And go. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the chairs are pretty tall. They are. Yeah. That's why I wear the heels. <laughs>